ASC Building Products Metal Roofing Installation Guide Before beginning, please reference our printed installation guide for important safety and substrate preparation information. Eave Flashing Prepare eave flashing as shown, cutting the flashing at the dotted lines per the installation guide, and then bending the resulting tab inward 90 degrees. Secure eave flashing with roofing nails or flathead screws. Use a screwdriver to open the hem of the flashing. Remove 3 inches of the highlighted material per the installation guide. Caulk and insert the flashing into the hem to create a 3 inch lap. For eaves with gutters, use the narrow eave flashing and ensure the gutters installed just below the eave flashing. Metal Roofing Installation Place an alignment line along the gable end where the first roof panel will be installed one quarter inch from the gable edge and square with the eave line. Apply mastic tape along the eave and install the bottom polyethylene closure. Apply butyl mastic tape or butyl sealant over the top of the closure. Align the edge of the first panel with the alignment line. Allow the panel to overhang the eave by one inch. Check the uphill end of the panel for alignment. Fasten the panel to the roof using number 14 by 1 inch wood fasteners at specified spacing per the installation guide. Apply butyl mastic tape at the seam. Make sure the panels are flush with each other at the eave edge and fasten the panel to the roof using number 14 by 1 inch wood fasteners at specified spacing per the installation guide. Fasten at the panel overlap using number 12 by 3 quarter inch stitch screws or number 14 by 7 8 inch lap screws. Repeat to complete the panel installation. Gable Flashing Snip and fold the gable at the eave as shown to close the end and secure with a rivet or number 12 stitch screw as demonstrated in the installation guide. Place butyl mastic tape along the gable flashing's flange as shown. Install the gable flashing by placing it firmly over the rib and fasten using color matched number 14 wood screws. Lap subsequent gable flashing by applying sealant and hooking the hems as previously demonstrated with the eave flashing hem. The flashing is miter cut at the peak to join each side of the ridge. Remove a pie shaped piece from the outside facing edge as demonstrated in the installation guide and notch the downturn leg as shown. Fold the tab behind the edge and secure as needed. Remove the highlighted portion and fasten the gable flashing using color match number 14 wood screws. Ridge flashing. Apply butyl mastic tape and install the polyethylene closure. Apply butyl mastic tape over the top of the closure Continue butyl tape over the gable flashing. Fasten the ridge flashing to the roof panels using number 12 by 3 quarter inch or number 14 by 7 8 inch stitch screws at each rib. For vented ridges, the substrate should be held back 2 inches from each side. Fasten C-metal using roofing nails or flathead screws. Fasten the roofing panels to the roof and place top closure adjacent to the C-metal. Attach a screen at each panel rib by pulling the screen tightly in place using number 12 by 3 quarter inch stitch screws. Fasten the vented ridge to the roof panels using number 12 by 3 quarter inch or number 14 by 7 8 inch stitch screws at the panel ribs. Caulk and lap sequential flashings. To close the end of the ridge flashing, remove the highlighted material, cut at the dotted lines, and fold the remaining sections caulk and rivet to complete. Valleys. Prior to installing panels into valleys, place a second layer of 36 inch underlayment in the valley center line with 18 inches of underlayment on each side. Starting at the low end, remove the highlighted portion and place the valley flashing so that it overhangs the eaves one inch. Bend the two protruding sections down to meet the eave and fill the open end with sealant. Caulk and overlap the subsequent valley flashings by a minimum of 8 inches. 
parallel to the valley, install butyl tape and MCO closures so they will be inset two inches from the panel ends and apply butyl tape over the top of the closures. Field cut the panels holding a minimum of four inches back from the valley as shown. Fasten the panels through the roof using number 14 by 1 inch wood screws evenly spaced through the closures. Larger valleys without the center V may be required in snow country installations. Peak flashing. Apply butyl mastic tape and install the polyethylene closure. Apply butyl mastic tape over the top of the closure. Fasten the peak flashing using number 12 by 3 quarter inch or number 14 by 7 8 inch stitch screws at each panel rib through the closure. Caulk and lap sequential flashings. Side wall flashings. The roof should be installed prior to the siding. Locate the panels one half inch from the wall surface. Trim, bend, and close the end of the sidewall flashing per the installation guide. Place butyl mastic tape along the sidewall flashing's flange as shown. Install the sidewall flashing by placing it firmly on the roof and fasten using number 14 by 1 inch wood screws, 24 inches on center, into pre-drilled holes in the roofing panels. Fasten the sidewall flashing to the wall with roofing nails or pancake head wood screws at 24 inches on center. End wall flashing. Locate the panels down from the end wall as required. Apply butyl mastic tape and install the polyethylene closure. Apply butyl mastic tape over the top of the closure. Fasten the flashing to the panels using number 12 by 3 quarter inch stitch screws at each rib. Fasten the end wall flashing to the wall with roofing nails or flathead screws at 24 inches on center. Caulk and lap sequential flashings. Chimney flashings. Install side chimney flashings first. Apply butyl mastic tape to the underside of the flashing and fasten using number 14 by 1 inch wood screws at 4 inches on center into pre-drilled holes and fasten to the chimney surface. The uphill flashing installs next begin by making a 1 8 inch by 2 inch slot on each side for the uphill flashing. Next, install the uphill flashing tucking it underneath the roofing panels, applying sealant at the flashing laps. When installing uphill flashing, apply liberal sealant and or closures to seal the end of the panel as necessary. Fasten the flashing to the panels using number 14 by 1 inch wood screws at 4 inches on center into pre-drilled holes, providing additional fasteners through the side flashings. Fasten the uphill flashing to the chimney wall. To install the downhill flashing, apply butyl tape and install the polyethylene closure. Apply tape over the top of the closure. Place the downhill flashing lapping over the side wall flashing. Apply sealant at the laps and fasten using number 12 by 3 quarter inch stitch screws at each rib. Fasten the downhill chimney flashing to the chimney wall. On all four sides of the chimney, prepare reglet flashings by applying a bead of sealant as shown and fasten the reglet flashing to the chimney wall. Apply sealant to the top of all reglet flashings. Skylight flashings. Install side skylight flashings first. Apply butyl mastic tape to the underside of the flashing and fasten using number 14 by 1 inch wood screws at 4 inches on center into pre-drilled holes. The uphill flashing installs next begin by making a 1 8 inch by 2 inch slot on each side for the uphill flashing. Next, install the uphill flashing tucking it underneath the roofing panels. Apply sealant to flashing laps. When installing the uphill flashing, apply liberal sealant and or closures to seal the end of the panel as necessary. Fasten the flashing to the panels using number 14 by 1 inch wood screws at 4 inches on center into pre-drilled holes, providing additional fasteners through the side flashings. To install the downhill flashing, apply butyl tape and install the polyethylene closure. Apply tape over the top of the closure. 
Apply sealant at flashing laps. Place the downhill flashing lapping over the sidewall flashing and fasten through the closure using number 12 by 3 quarter inch stitch screws at each rib. Fasten the downhill flashing to the side flashing using two screws on each side. For more information, visit ASC Building Products at ASCBP.com.